quite sorry to hear about the passing of your pet. I know that you are incredibly close with them and they were always there for you. They were always excited to meet you at the door when you got home and they loved you unconditionally. They loved you no matter what. And I know it has to feel so incredibly empty without them. I know you must have gotten so close with them. You must have picked up on all their little mannerisms, all their cute little quirks and habits that made them unique. And it's gonna hurt. I mean, I'm sure it's already hurting so much. And it's gonna keep hurting for a while. There's no way to stop that. That just means they were important to you, that they occupied a very special and important part of your life. That's not something you can replace. And I know probably towards the end, you picked up on all their habits changing. And I bet you realize that you knew them even more than you thought because when they changed their habits, when they sat in a different spot, slept in a different spot, didn't want to eat their favorite food, didn't come for pets, you knew something wasn't quite right. That must have been really scary. Must have been really fucking scary. Realizing that. The animal you were with for so long. The animal that you've become so accustomed to. That were so a part of your life. That something was wrong with them. And you took them to the vet. And you that there wasn't much they could do, that they were suffering, and they didn't have much longer, and that must have just killed you inside, having to make that choice of whether to keep them living just a little bit longer but in pain or just to let them die peacefully. I know, I know, it must have been really, really fucking hard, and you must have self-doubt, and so much pain because of that, because of that choice, and I think you did the right thing, you're letting them go peacefully, they were in so much pain, Nothing was quite right with them, and they didn't have much longer. You helped them. You did the nice thing. And I know it caused you so much pain. And I know you wish there was another way, but you were strong. You did what you had to do, and now when you first walked through the door back into your home and just all you heard was quiet. They didn't come up and greet you like they normally do because they weren't coming home anymore. That must have been the hardest fucking thing. I bet you just broke down right there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know how hard it is know how hard it is and it's gonna hurt so much because you love them so dearly and it's gonna take time that's the only thing that can make you feel better time and 
I'm here for you during that time, okay? If you have trouble going to the park or going out on walks by yourself, I'll come with you. I'll gladly come with you and if you have trouble eating by yourself because your pet would always <laughs> rub their nose against you or put their paws on you or be really cute to try to get some food. I'll get you some takeout or I'll eat with you to make sure you're eating okay. I know it's going to be really hard and I wish I could make this all go away. I wish I could make you feel better, but you cared so fucking much and it's going to hurt because of that. You're going to remember all the cute little memories you had with them. All the times you rolled around together or all the cute little tricks and habits they had. And you're going to be remembering them for a long, long time. And that's okay. They were cute. They were special. I don't want you to try to forget those things. I want you to still be happy for all those times you had. But I understand that the grief has to be so strong right now. And it doesn't feel like those memories are going to bring happiness. Maybe just a small smile before you burst into tears, but not happiness. I just hope that one day all these treasured memories are going to be happy ones. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know it has to be so hard. It's going to feel so lonely. So hard to sleep, so hard to eat, so hard to be a productive human being. And it's gonna be the hardest to come home and turn on the light and feel lonely. So I'm here. I'm here if you need me, okay? I'm here to look after you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You're a good person. You care so much and I can tell your bond was so strong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wish I could make the pain go away. Hmm. <laughs>